โลฝันเครื่องลงแต่จะกองทัพสวาของท่านไว้ที่จะกองตึกติดตามแต่ยังได้นาครับสำหรับวันนี้ให้แนวเรื่องผมไ right after landed in Vientiane, the capital of Laos. I went to the city center to talk to Laos girls. My goal was to find a woman who could teach me about the Laotian dating culture and dreams of the local women. Unfortunately, hard to find young girl and nobody spoke English. I guess I should have set up a date with a sexy Laos girl from Tinder or the largest Asian dating site and social media such as Facebook and Instagram before I arrived. But it was too late. Too late. Damn. I was about to give up until I noticed a shady-looking bar, located on second floor of with bright neon signs that was located outside of tourism area. Without hesitation, I went in, sat down, and I didn't have to wait long until three beautiful Laos bar girls sat next to me. I ended up talking and drinking with them until midnight, and I learned more about the true nature of Laotian women. And about what they are looking for in their life, than I could have imagined. Perfect. But first, let me tell you something about the women in Laos. The girls in Vientiane are more relaxed than the girls in Bangkok. They are the definition of sabai sabai. Take it easy, relax. Although they have the same facial features and skin tone as Thai girls from Isan, northeastern Thailand, but they are different, very different from Thai girls. They are extremely shy, so friendly and bad at English. If you're into parties and clubs, Yantian is a boring city. But I enjoyed the peace, the quietness. And unlike Vietnam, that drove me crazy with its millions of motorbikes on the road, there weren't thousands of suicidal motorbike drivers that tried to kill me. Besides the two bars girls I talked to, I didn't see any women with tattoos and didn't wear short pants that revealed their ass cheeks. Even though their average salary was around $100 a month, they didn't try to rip me off by asking me to buy them a drink. According to them, Laos girls dream of being beautiful brides. Believe it or not, Laotian women are very traditional. Of course, even more traditional than the women in Thailand, and maybe even more than the women in Vietnam. I know that this sounds stupid, considering the fact that I interviewed bar girls, but hear me out. Even the Laos girls who work in the bars dream about marriage. One girl told me that she still believes that one day she will find her foreign prince who makes her his bride. The other girl showed her agreement with a bright smile. No matter if they work in a bar, in a hotel, or in a convenience store, they all have the same dream. But one girl made a serious face and said to me, "We don't want Chinese husbands, even if they are rich." When I asked them why, they told me about some of their friends who had been abused by their Chinese husbands. Apparently, this is a huge problem among Laotian mail-order brides. When I did some research later, I found dozens of resources and articles. That write about the physical, sexual, and emotional abuse of Laotian women, plus Vietnamese and Cambodian women who married Chinese men. I don't say that all Chinese men are bad and dirty, unmannered. Of course, it's not that hard to find good men among them. But at least if you're Chinese, I do say that you'll have a hard time to convince her that you're a kind and gentle guy. According to one of them, 
Laos girls dream about marrying a foreign man. They believe that foreigners can support them and their children. They believe that foreigners treat them better than the local guys. They believe that foreigners are more loyal. These bar girls reminded me of the average female X Factor candidate. There are still thousands of beautiful Laos girls who haven't sold their body to the highest bidder. These girls still have a chance and their dream might come true for sure. And who knows, maybe you are the foreign prince for one of them. Oh, <laughs> 